Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I decided to do something fun with my old Nexus 4. I consider this my hack device, so I like to do weird things with it. What could be weirder than dual booting stock Android and Firefox OS? Firefox OS is a newly developed open source platform for smartphones. While it's not currently being sold on hardware in the US, you can get around this by downloading it onto your Nexus device with a bit of work. Before we start, of course, you need to make sure that your information is all backed up. So back up. Do it right now. Right now. Do it. Now, to start the dual booting installation. To do this first, you need to unlock and root your Nexus device with WUG's Nexus Root Toolkit. We did this on Techzilla back in February. Step two is simply downloading and installing the Multi-ROM Manager app from the Google Play Store. This app will give your phone the ability to boot onto two operating systems instead of automatically booting into Android. Next, in Multi-ROM, on the app itself on your Nexus, click Install, Update, and click Multi-ROM, Recovery, and Kernel Options. Tap Install, and the app will install Multi-ROM. Easy! Now it gets a little bit trickier with Step 4. To install Firefox OS, you want to download the zip file of the operating system, which was made by Purex at the XDA Developers Forum. While your phone is plugged into your computer, copy and paste the whole zip file into the root directory of your Nexus 4. Simply copy the zip file and open your Nexus 4 in the File Explorer from your computer. You'll see a whole bunch of folders, including ones for pictures and music, and stuff like that. Just paste the zip into that main directory. So that part was step five. Now for step six. Now reboot your Nexus device into recovery. For my Nexus 4, I hold down the volume and the power buttons at the same time and wait for the Android laying on its back to show up. Press volume up and down to choose recovery mode and then press the power button. Step seven involves multi-ROM. It will boot up with a series of menu options. Choose advanced, multi-ROM, and then add ROM. Don't change any of the default options. They should already be set to Android as the ROM type. Don't share kernel and install to internal memory. Click next and then zip file. Look for the FFOS mako.zip file. Choose it and click swipe to confirm. Once it's done, you can restart the phone. Now it gets fun. I love this part. To choose which ROM to use, completely turn off your phone and then power it back on like normal. Multi-ROM will open and ask if you want to boot into internal, which is Android, or FFOS Mako, which is Firefox OS. Choose one and click boot. Now, both Android and Firefox OS should boot with no problems and you will have full control of two mobile operating systems on one phone. That's pretty cool, right? Now you know what else is cool? Lynda.com. Try Lynda.com for some excellent tutorials and programming. They offer thousands of video tutorials for everything from motion graphics to web design, even Java. For 25 bucks a month, you get unlimited access to video courses and you can start wherever you want at your own pace. Try Lynda.com free for seven days by visiting Lynda.com slash Techzilla and get the skills you need to get ahead. Now for more from Techzilla, hit up youtube.com slash techzilla or techzilla.com and share what you think below or tweet at Techzilla. I'm Shannon Morse. Thanks for watching.